working and shit but i got these fucking awesome beers here out of vancouver the fucking bomber they got the esb and the pilsner so let's do some double fucking fisting get some fucking shit on there we're gonna pour this shit we're gonna talk about these fucking beers <laughs> their ESB and their Pilsner so the ESB and I get kind of pissed about these uh, well not pissed but it says ESB on the cover right and it goes in the back at least this one tells you on the back and it's a uh, classic British beer celebrating the innovations of the Yakima Valley so it's a Cascadian brown ale American East American hops it's a fucking Cascadian brown ale so they sort of own up to it. Then the Pilsner says it's just size. And this is a 4.8% Pilsner and a 5.2% brown ale. And these are extremely good deals. This is like 11 something a six pack. So up here, that's like seven bucks cheaper than name brand macro, like Labatt or Bud or whatever. So let's start off on this Pilsner. Smelling really good. A little bit of a macro vibe to it, but. And it is a bit colder. I have not heated up the, uh, the pill here. Fuck. It's cold. Really bready. Sass, not the usual sass type taste, but it's uh, getting the noble hops there. Bit of glass lacing. It's a pretty fucking solid Pilsner. Um, tastes rugged, hearty. Better than a lot of your kind of uh, macro, like Euro Pilsners. Uh, I would... Uh, <coughs> I'd say it's up there. Not as good as like a, a, a Polish or authentic Czech Pilsner or something like that, but it's pretty damn good. 
for the money, it's amazing. But smell, smelling spicy, smelling like a cascade type thing. A really nice head, kind of sticking around, thick, creamy. So it's a little bit warmer. It, it's it's better a little bit warmer. It doesn't need to be cellar temperature or anything, but I would definitely warm it up a little bit, like beyond 10 degrees, you know. Yeah, <coughs> Cascadian Brown Ale. Hopped like an IPA. Tasting some great fucking malts in there. Brownness. Transparent. Reddish brown. Tasting like a lot of the the red red beer malts, you know. Giving it that sweetness. Pops on the front of the tongue, affecting the mouthfeel. Make it a bit tingly. Slight bit of metallic. Damn. For the money, this is great beer. Great beer. Not over hopped. So, like, if you're into uh, Session IPAs, uh, American Pale Ales, that kind of thing, this is a really good beer for you. If you're into Pilsners, this is a good beer. This is a good fucking pilsner. <laughs> Nothing to really complain about with either of these. Kind of getting a bit of a house style. Maybe with a little bit of like metallic edge to it. But I'm not really tasting a lot of additives. There might be some head in enhancing shit in this one. It's possible. I'm going to give these beers both. They're both like... Pretty much even. I think I'm gonna have to throw these beers fucking solid nines out of eleven for beer overall. The price I'd have to jack it up to nine and a half for the price. Not the best fucking craft beer I've ever had, but for the money, uh, I'm loving it. Fucking great shit. Way to go, bomber. Oh, and uh, don't sell yourself short. These can designs fucking blow. Uh, it makes it look like budget beer. You're charging low price, but like, I don't know, those cans to me just like, I almost didn't buy it, even though it was cheap as like, but I had your collaboration with Stone, uh, the blood from a stone. Probably got the fucking bottle here somewhere. Anyway, it was fucking awesome. And these beers are pretty damn good. I'll just say change the can. Keep charging a little money because I'm going to be buying this shit all the fucking time. Nine and a half out of eleven. Be a second. And I'm out. Yeah, yeah.